Hi, I wanted to do a short video on looking at your instructor's feedback to make sure that you're not missing any feedback that I am uploading on your essays. So I have done a faux test student submission in my GSW class. So I'm going to use this as an example. So click on student view. Now, to see the feedback that an instructor has given you on an assignment, the best way to see it is to go to grades. So I'm going to click on grades. And then it's easiest, um, especially for major assignments, if you go ahead and click on assignment group. And so you'll see here, um, this is the test student account. Um, the fake student turned in their paper late, which is kind of funny. Um, but if I click on the link here, I can now see the feedback. Um, so a couple things. I use rubrics on my major assignments for all my classes. So you'll always want to click here on show rubric over here in the right hand, um, the top right. So you click show rubric um, and it's going to show you where your essay falls in particular categories. Um, and so this essay had image requirements, um, but also things like the content and the argument. And this just gives you an overall sense of what the essay did well, what you need to work on, things of that nature. So the, the rubric is kind of the overall sense of the essay. So then I'm going to click that to, to close it. Um, and I'm going to go up here. There we go. And I can just click the X and then it's gone. Okay. Now, if your professor um, has used the doc viewer to give you feedback, you'll want to click view feedback to see the actual essay and the feedback that they've done. I usually do mine through Microsoft Word, but you can do it that way. Um, FYI, just to let you know, um, this is, I find, really annoying in terms of looking at it. Um, you can magnify it so you can see it the whole screen. Um, and, and I think that this is really nice, you can download it. So if, you, if that would be easier for you to look at it on your own computer, you can absolutely do that instead of dealing with this tiny little doc viewer window that it gives you. Um, and that's also useful in peer review if you have any peer review comments and things like that. Um, when I grade essays, I download them and then comment on them in Microsoft Word because I find that to be a little bit easier and I like the functionality better. Um, so what you'll always see is that I have uploaded an, a file um, and it should, it'll either have the same name as the file you have uploaded or it will um, start with your name. So if I click on this, it will then download. So you'll see here that it's downloading and then I can open it. And I always recommend saving this so that you have it um, and you can go back and look at it. Now, a couple things about how I comment on essays. So this is a comment, a marginal comment that I have done, um, where it just says this is a marginal comment. Um, and this is where I will put comments about particular moments in your essay. Um, if you decide to revise the essay, I highly recommend saving this file as a new file name, and then you can actually do your revisions in the file that I've commented on. So if you're doing that and you've like dealt with a comment, if you then right click on the comment, you have the option to delete. Um, and if you're using a Mac and you have it enabled right clicking, you can also go to the review tab and here you have the option to delete um, comments. And it's always still there up on Canvas. So even if you delete a comment that you think you wanted um, and you forgot and then you need it, you can still go and re-download my commented draft and you can still see it. Um, the other thing I do quite often is I mark grammar errors with a highlight in yellow. And I do that not because I'm just being difficult, um, but because I want to highlight that there is a grammar issue, but I don't want to just fix it because then what I'm doing is I'm showing you that I know how to correctly punctuate sentences um, instead of giving you the chance to try and figure it out on your own. Now, if you can't figure it out or you think you don't have it figured out correctly, please ask me. It's not a test or anything. Um, I just want to give you the opportunity to work on it on your own. Um, so this is the commented draft, um, and I'm going to close this. 
The other thing you will see um, on your essays and also on a lot of your daily grades is I will put overall comments right here. So this is where I'm giving you feedback on the essay as a whole on your particular essay. So the rubric is kind of generic feedback, but this is specific to your essay. So the major things you want to look at um, are threefold in relation to how I grade essays. The rubric, which is right here, the comments, which are right there, and then the commented draft, which is right there. Um, so these are the things you want to make sure that you look at um, whenever I grade a major assignment. Um, if you decide to do a revision of a major assignment, which you are welcome to do of any assignment that is a substantial assignment, like an essay, um, except for the final project because the class is over and you cannot revise it. Um, you are welcome to do a revision. Um, keep in mind that to revise an assignment, you do need to meet with me. Um, and you would do that by um, sending me a message and just saying like, hey, I'd like to meet with you during your office hours, that sort of thing, okay? Um, so I hope this is helpful and helps you navigate Canvas a little bit, which I know is always a thing. And let me know if you have any questions about this or anything else.